Loza, Al Dolly, and Gimbal Guru invite you to join us for a review of the firmware version 1.0.2. This firmware update for the Moza Air 2 adds new features such as FPV mode, Inception mode 3.0, Mimic motion control, object tracking, motion track recording, record and repeat follow focus movement, quick button functions, smart wheel modes. FPV mode is accessed by triple pressing the FN button. FPV mode will allow all three axes to rotate 360 degrees, useful for mimicking an actor's perspective by rolling and tilting like a human head. To exit FPV mode, triple press the FN button. Inception mode 3.0 is accessed by double tapping the FN button. Move the joystick to the left to rotate the camera to the right. Or move the joystick to the right to rotate the camera to the left. Rotate the dial wheel to adjust the rotation speed of the gimbal. Press the dial wheel once to the left side to auto-rotate the camera to the left. Press again to stop. Press the dial wheel once on the right side to auto-rotate the camera to the right. Press again to stop. To adjust the rotation limit of inception mode, press up or down on the dial wheel to change the rotation from 180 degrees to 360 degrees. The gimbal will rotate the camera to the selected fixed rotation and then stop. Mimic Motion Control is accessed through the Moza Master app, which is available for iOS and Android smartphones. To access Mimic Motion Control, tap on Remote Control. Bottom left, tap on Mimic Motion Control. Hold the phone in the correct orientation. Use the slider on the left to adjust sensitivity. For better control over gimbal movement, we suggest using a lower sensitivity setting. Tap Start to activate Mimic Motion Control. On the right hand side, switch the movement of each axis on or off. Object tracking is accessed through the Moza Master app. The smartphone must be mounted on top of the camera for object tracking to function correctly. We're using Moza smartphone holder, which is included with the Moza professional kit or available for purchase from your preferred Moza retailer. Adjust the balance of the gimbal as needed. Once the smartphone is mounted, go to Creative Video and then Object Tracking. Check to make sure the phone is in the correct orientation and the phone's camera is lined up with that of the camera's viewfinder. The app will use your smartphone's camera to track a subject. Simply draw a box over the subject. Beware that Object Tracking can lose its lock if the subject and background are too similar. Motion Track Recording is accessed from the Moza Master App. Tap Create a Video, then Track Recording. Motion Track Recording requires a minimum of two keyframes. Adjust the position of the camera, then tap to add a keyframe. To set timing, tap the second keyframe, and so on. Tap the Start button to play the program movements. Program movements can be saved and recalled to repeat the same shot. Record and repeat follow focus movement for iFocus and iFocus M. To use this feature, iFocus system must be running the latest firmware release. For the Moza Air 2, use the dial wheel to select Advance. iFocus F1 Focus Teaching and then select Record. The Air 2 will start recording the movement of the smart wheel. Recording time is limited to one minute. Click the dial wheel to stop the recording. Use the dial wheel to click play to start the program movement. Quick button functions. Double tap the TV button to switch on or off tilt follow. Double tap the ISO button to switch on and off roll follow. Double tap the AV button to switch on or off pan follow. Use the smart wheel to control tilt, roll, and pan axis. Press the M button to swap between each focus channel or swap between each axis. Thank you for watching. For further assistance, please check with Gunson.com or contact us at support at Gunson.com. 
If you like to test drive one of our Moser products, check our website for a list of local retailers near you.